we're standing here today on this property, which I believe is going to be an example for the rest of this state as to how it is the Sunshine State lives up to being the Sunshine State. And that's by investing in renewable energy and in solar energy to meet our future energy needs. That's right. You give yourself a round of applause. So today we're breaking ground on a long-awaited solar farm for Tallahassee. And we're really proud to be a leader in renewable energy in the state of Florida. Uh, it's something that we've talked about with our citizens and, and various uh, groups in our community. It's something that we know our customers want and uh, the, the long-awaited day is here. Well, what happens when you look behind me, you've got a solar panel and you've got all this open land with not a lot of big trees. This is the perfect place to put a solar farm. Um, and what we're gonna do is it enables our utility users to participate in solar energy and they may not be able to now because they live, they live in a condo or they got tree cover or there's some other obstruction so they can participate in these panels and they can almost act as if they have solar on the roof by committing to using the power from these and it gets to carry with them so that if they move they can still participate so it's the best of both worlds and they don't have to get on the roof to clean it every year we take care of that out here at the airport This is about mom. This is about mother nature. We have made the right choices in Tallahassee over the years as it comes to energy. Today, we take that quantum leap forward to embrace the fact that unless you use renewable energy, you're not being good to mom. So we are going from two megawatts to 20 megawatts to 40 megawatts to 60. You're gonna have 350 acres when we are done. 350 acres worth of being good to mom. And that is something we're celebrating. Thank you. This is a very exciting day in the city of Tallahassee. This puts us at the forefront, I think, of alternative energy. And so that's why it's important that we teach young people now uh, the importance of being good stewards of our environment and that begins with uh, uh, reducing our carbon footprint in communities throughout uh, this state and indeed our nation and the world and we can do that by harnessing uh, the energy that comes from above solar energy that is clean uh, it's efficient uh, and it can serve thousands of households uh, in our community Well, the main reason I'm here today is to celebrate the participation of FSU in this project. I think the main benefit is it allows us to present the point of view that when done properly, an alternative energy project can meet both fiscal standards as well as do the sustainability and the reducing our environmental footprint. This has involved countless number of hours with lots of people, not only at FSU in the city, but other people in the community everybody benefits.